Lord, just allow the Holy Spirit to move up and down these aisles, touching lives. Yes. They're here tonight, Lord. They need an uplifting. I ask that you uplift them. They need a healing. I ask that you heal Yes, Lord. Lord, they need a miracle. I pray for them. Right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's sing that chorus, Oh, how I love Jesus. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. We really about that love last night. How many were here last night? That was a Ugh. good message. Amen. We need to get back to our first love. Put it in first. Amen. Praise God. Things. So let's sing that tonight.
you, God. Oh, holy, righteous, redeeming Savior. Yes. Hallelujah. Right now, come quickly, Jesus. <laughs> we gotta go around. Amen. We're gonna march around the throne. Hallelujah. Yes. I don't know about you, I'm gonna run around the throne. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's keep it in the gospel court. Not that I can sing in that court a little bit, but let's keep it. <laughs> Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. I know we already asked Pastor Dennis once already, but uh, he can read us again, brother. Hey. Hallelujah. And all of our visitors, we say God bless you. And we just want you to enjoy the service tonight and looking forward uh, to what God has for us. And uh, but we have a, some special singers tonight. Pastor Marvin. Yay. Uh, amen. Uh, they are the cracked pots. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Half cracked. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. So grateful. So worthy. Crying, fear not, it is time. 
chickens tonight.
I pray that you would increase even overnight um, our finances, that tomorrow we can give the greatest, even more so, the greatest offering, Lord. Yes. Close this thing out with wages that are well beyond what they're due. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God.
And so he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims and a flame of sword, which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. And uh, the Bible said that he drained out the man, or drove out the man, and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword, which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. And uh, if the Lord would help me tonight, I'd like to preach to you for just a little while on this thought of going back to the garden. Oh, going hallelujah. back to the garden. Oh, praise you, Lord. Pray. Father, we love you tonight. We thank you for the Lord's goodness and opportunity to give us coming out of the house. God, Bobby, stand in the Holy Ghost morning. Ask the Lord to set us all a blaze and a pain for the priest that worked the world over and is to hear how it's received of our soul. Is it help us have thy will and thy way to land on the law? We give you the praise of the Father. I just want to glorify so much. Just come out in the name of everybody. Say it. Amen. I want to preach a little while. I simply have this thought of going back. To the garden. Going back to the garden. Now, I'll just quickly give you the background of the story. The Bible lets us know in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And the Bible lets us know that every day when he got done, he said he looked at it and it was good. God created Hallelujah. it. Created everything in perfection and beauty and holiness and righteousness. I mean, everything was just pristine. God made everything. And then the Bible said, as if that, that world was enough, then the Bible said, and God planned the garden eastward and even so he's got this perfect world and then he has a, another special place inside this perfect world known as the garden and he places man inside that garden oh can you imagine i mean there there adam is and adam the bible lets us know that adam walked with god and walked with god had life understood what it was to walk with god oh the joy and the peace and the perfection of that 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 that, that, that garden that it was a veritable paradise and there is man and god communing together everything was wonderful everything was great everything was perfect everything was just the way it ought to be just the way god had planned all oh, the garden everything was great but we know the story of the bible let's know that sin came man disobeyed god when sin came, you know, I don't know that this fallen mind can really comprehend the beauty and the glory of that garden. I don't think this fallen finite mind can really That's understand right. how perfect it was and, and how great it was and the joy and the peace and all of that. The walking with God, I'm telling you, it was a wonderful, wonderful place. Oh, we probably can't even come close to comprehending how great it was to walk and talk face to face oh, with the hallelujah. house of God. And in that garden, and we know the story that sin came. And the Bible lets us know it. We, we, we call it the, the fall. Amen. The fall. Sin happened. And oh, the glory of that garden. Oh, the beauty of that garden. The serenity of that garden was lost in that fall. The Bible said, man, this will make God. Sin came in. And sin tainted everything. Sin destroyed everything. Sin uh, separated man from God because of that sin. The Bible said God had to expel him, had to kick him out from that garden. No longer could he live in that garden. And because of that, the entire world was cursed because of that sin. The fall happened. Sin came. Oh, and I thought it. You said, preacher, why do you no. preach so hard against sin? Can I tell you why? It's the only thing that separates God. Man is sin. Yes. I said it's sin. It's sin that ruins homes. It's sin yes. that ruins lives. It's sin yes. oh, that destroys a, a people's a, a eternities. It's sin. And I tell you tonight what the problem in America tonight, it's this. Sin. Yes. It's a yes. sin problem. Yes. And it's a sin problem. Yes. Everything was wonderful, but sin came. And all oh, Adam had to be expelled from that garden. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Forgive us. The Bible said... When that fall happened and they were expelled, they were kicked out. Put a flaming sword in the cherubim turning every way that says, you can't come back in. Oh. Sin had separated man and God. You know, have you ever, have you ever just thought, I know I've heard it, and, uh, oh, oh, to be a kid again. Huh. Yeah. Paige's been saying that for 50 years. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, to be a kid. You know. And, uh, and uh, you know, or maybe, you know, oh, to, to go back to a simpler time. Or, oh, that we could go back to a nobler time. I, I, I drive through uh, the countryside there in Elmore County and drive uh, on 
some old country roads and ride past my, my grandpa's old shop where he used to have his logging trucks and veins. And I drive by there, and you know, the, the place is still there, the shop and veins, but he's been gone uh, for quite a few years now. And, and but I drive back and I drive by that, and I remember a lot of things and, and the good times that we had. And, and you know, something just kind of longs just to, just to go back to that time, just to, to go back to that Hello. time when, when me and my papa, you know, we hung out at the truck. Yes. Yes. And I think about those simpler times and, and those times of, of yesteryear. Sometimes my mind would all just to go back. Well, I, I began to think about that. I thought about Adam. As Adam was expelled from the garden, sin had come and separated man and God. And Adam was kicked out of the garden. I began to think about that. Adam knew what it was to live in the serenity and the glory of that paradise. He knew what it was to walk with God. He knew what it was to have life. But now death had come. Now the peace was broken. Now the serenity was lost. Now the glory was gone. Now all that's there is dead. He feels death in his bosom, realizing spiritually he died, separated from God, kicked out of the garden, the flaming sword. He can't go back in. I can see Adam as he began to till the ground, the Bible said. And you see, before that fall, there weren't things called thorns. But after the fall, thorns came. And I don't know, but I began to think about it. I thought, you know, he's probably tilling the ground or whatever. And I could see him the first time he reaches down and he grabbed the plant. And the thorns rip his flesh. He thought, oh, you know what? I sure wish we could go back to the garden. And, oh, I thought about the first time the temper flared up. And he thought, you know what? I sure wish we could go back to the garden. And I, undoubtedly, when, when uh, Eve began to bear children and the pain and childbirth began to happen, undoubtedly she said, oh, Adam, Adam, I wish we could just go back to the garden. Oh, and I know the day they stood there and they had to bury one son because the other rose up and stealed it. I'm sure they thought, oh, if we could only go back to the garden. I walked down in time, and I thought about Noah. I thought about Noah and his 100-year boat building project. And I don't know, but I'm just thinking, uh, you know, somewhere, and you can ask him when you get there, but somewhere maybe around the 85-year mark. We've been working on this thing 85 years. And, and I mean, I can just see him, you know, he's been working all day. He's hot. He's tired. Uh, he just missed it, and he hit his hand and, and you know, busted his thumb open with, the, I don't know, that hammers or whatever. He's using a nail still, whatever. But anyway, you know... Oh, man, I wish we could go back to the garden. Oh, I wish we could go back to the garden. And uh, I thought, you know, as he gets on the boat and his family's there and, and they begin to sail, it's got to think about it. He's got all them stinking animals. <laughs> and I mean that in the literal sense. You understand. I mean, animals on that boat, they probably wasn't the greatest kind of places in the world. But anyway, uh, you know, I'm thinking, you know what? If I think, I sure wish we could go back to the garden. I sure wish we could go back to the garden. Six months on that boat. I thought, oh, you know, you know what? I thought about this. Adam most likely did not know what it was to have rain. You look at the word the Bible said, and he watered the ground from the mist that came up. He gets on that boat, and that storm, that first storm unleashed this fury upon this world. I'm thinking he probably thought, man, I sure wish I could go back to that garden. I sure yes. wish I could go back. But man can't go back. Sin had ruined everything. Man can't go back. I thought about Abraham as Abraham had to go and fight for a lot to bring Lot back. He probably thought, man, I sure wish we could just go back to the garden. As he's wandering through this, uh, the, 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 this, the land there, only nothing but a burial plot. He thought, I sure wish we could go back to the garden. I thought about Jacob as Jacob wrestling one night, all night long. And all the Bible lets us know he's wrestling, he's wrestling for his life. Oh, he realizes uh, if he doesn't have victory before this night's over, he's going to die. I don't know, somewhere in the midnight hour as he's wrestling, he's probably thinking in his mind, I sure wish I could go back to the garden. Yes. Wouldn't have to do that there. Wouldn't have to contend with that. I wish yes. I could go back to the garden. I thought about Joseph. Is Joseph there? He had been lying about. Uh, he had been, first of all, been sold into slavery by his brothers. Then he had been lying about, put in prison. He would forgotten. He's all alone, away from his homeland. He's in prison. Oh, I don't know, but in the midnight hour, there in the jail cell, forgotten, alone, strange country, lied upon all the things. He probably thought, man, I sure wish, I sure wish I could go back to the garden. I sure wish I could go back yes. to that serenity and that peace. I I sure wish yes. I could go back. Oh, I 
I see Moses, the Bible said Moses was on the back side of the desert. The front side is bad enough, but he's on the back side. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's a bad deal. He's on the back side of the desert. Oh, now, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't just the border land out there. He's on the back side of the desert, walking, tending sheep. That's not a glorious job. He's a sheep tender, walking across the back side of that desert, probably thinking, I wish we could just go back to the garden. If he didn't think it then, I can tell you, I know for sure he had to think it when he's in the wilderness with three million complaining players. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's I, right. I, I thought the pastors were 50 complaining Christians and they wish they'd go back to the garden. Anyway, uh, I don't know the pastor said amen. But anyway, uh, I was going to talk to me. But, uh, you know, and there are three million complaining Christians. Uh, I'm sure most of them, you know, Lord, I wish I could just go back to the garden. I wish I could just go back to the garden. I thought about King David as David is there on his deathbed. And I doubt it, though, he was the man after God's own heart, many failures in his life. And David there on his deathbed, then he'd be taking, uh, taking in inventory of his life and the things that he had done undoubtedly had to remember all the times he had failed God all the times he had failed the Savior and probably inside he thought oh if I could only go back if I could only go back to that garden that place where God and I could walk together the place of life, the place of joy, the place of peace the yes. place of truth, if I could just go yes. back to the garden yes. if I could just go back to the garden Jeremiah in the dungeon for preaching the gospel if I could just go back to the garden. It seems, as you read it, it seems like the cry down through the ages is, if I could only go back to the garden, I sure wish we could go back to the garden. The Bible said man was expelled from the garden. And man can't go back to the garden because sin, sin cannot enter there. The flaming sword uh, uh, in, in, in type is still there keeping man from the perfection of that garden. And man can't go back. But I want us to notice something tonight. Man and God used to walk together in that garden. God would come and man and God would walk together. But it's interesting. You know after Adam was kicked out of the garden we don't find where it said that God continued to walk in that garden. We don't find God walking in that garden anymore. Why? Because he wanted to walk there with man. And he had to kick man out. And now, while well, I'm going to the garden, that man can be there. That's why the garden was made, that God and man could walk together. But man can't get back into that garden. And so one day the master said, you know what? The only way, the only way they can get back is hey. if I go walking one more time. Hey. It withered away from 
the sons of men, as Joel said. Oh, joy and withered away from the sons of men. But can I tell you, when the Christ came walking back in that oh, door, hallelujah. Oh, you know what he brought with it? Joy. Hallelujah. He brought joy. Hallelujah. You and I, Adam, lost joy. But when you get born again, we have yes. Hallelujah. Peace. There is no peace. I said there is no peace outside of Jesus. That's right. Every day you're trying to find peace in drugs and alcohol. This guy let you know, friend, you'll never find it. You're trying to find peace in illicit relationships. You'll never find it. You're trying to find peace in, in, uh, in fame and fortune. You'll never find That's it. That's right. There's no peace today outside of that garden. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Praise God. If you're here tonight and you're in trials, go back to the garden. Oh, if you're here tonight and you're discouraged, go back to the garden. If you're here tonight and you're in tribulation, go back to the garden. If you're here tonight and you've been tempted, go back to the garden. If you're here tonight and you're here tonight, don't feel like I have any hope. Go back to the garden. If you're here tonight and preach, I feel like I'm all alone. Go back to the garden. Yes. Don't feel like anybody cares. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See tonight, I'm not sure what you need. But I can tell you, he found it. Yes. Yes, he did. Hallelujah. It's in the garden. It's where he's walking. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, in that place where they crucified him, there was... Oh, praise God. And they laid my Savior there. But on that first resurrection morning, guess what? He got up and began to do what he so longed to do. And that's walk with man. How in the oh, oh, praise God. God. Oh, Rabboni. Hallelujah. He wants to walk with us in the garden. Oh, oh that's that old Lord. song. That old hymn. I'm telling you, folks, laugh at it today, but I'm telling you, it's theologically yes. correct and it's real. And he walks with me. Yes! Yes, yes. yes he and does. He I am. Hallelujah. Yes! 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 yes. yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You and I can go back to the garden. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. What a wonderful Savior. Thank you. But you know, come on. We kind of say about it a little bit tonight. How many of you know that even though we can go back to the garden, we can walk with Him in peace and joy? We are still natural, physical man. Yes. We will experience <clears throat> pain, storms, physical separation for people, experience death. But can I tell you one day? Hallelujah. We are going back. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. The Bible said, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God. Yes. And the day Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and faith shall be caught up together in the clouds to meet the Lord of the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. We're going back to that place where there is life everlasting. We're going back to that place where man and God can one more time walk hand in hand. Hallelujah. Oh, you think we're having joy around here?
Christ came walking in John back into that garden. He made a way for you and I to walk with him again. Oh, praise God. That one day we might step over on the other side and get back to the garden. Oh, you know. hallelujah. And it's interesting. I had, I mean, I, you know, we, we preached out, we quoted, the, we know the scripture, but it just took on new meaning as I began to think about it in this context. In Revelation chapter number 3 and, and verse number 12 speaks about him that overcome. Remember what it says? And he shall go no more out. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, Jesus.